Hey guys, what's happening? Steve here from GraphicDesignerTips.com. Thank you for joining us for this video tutorial. Uh, what we're going to speak about in this tutorial is how to work with layers, and uh, I really want to explain why uh, why you should use layers, uh, and, and that's it. If, you, if, if you're on our YouTube page right now, please visit our website. It's GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, if you're looking at the screen, you're going to notice an artwork for a uh, for Sal's Pizzeria and Catering. This is a logo and business card that I designed for a client of mine. And uh, using layers, uh, I'm going to show you how this is all really put together. And uh, it'll help you educate you about the layers too at the same time. So um, if you look over here at your layers palette, if you don't have it uh, out right now on your right, you need to go to Window and Layers, which is also a hotkey shortcut of F7. Uh, now you're gonna if you look over here you're gonna see four different layers you're gonna see one called logo one called type one called background two and one called background one all right uh, over to the left uh, these little things right here they're uh, they're little eyeballs if you click the eyeball off everything on that layer is going to be hidden for the moment okay so you're not going to be able to alter it or grab it by accident when it's hidden which is pretty cool so first we're going to go on this logo layer and we're going to click the eye to just see what happens oh there the logo goes completely gone all right now we're going to take it back same thing with the type we go like this all the typography over to the right disappears um these other two layers, this one is off because this is a different option uh, for a background. Uh, that's why I have background one and background two. That's one great thing about using layers. It's if you have multiple ideas, instead of making multiple documents or putting three up on your canvas or you know stuff like that, you can make different layers with the different options of of uh, you know whatever you're trying to change. In this case, it's a background. So uh, the client in the end shows this background, uh, but the other sh the other option I showed them was like a brick background like this, uh, with like the fade in the middle. So uh, they chose the other one. So this one goes off, and this other one goes on. Um, if you look over here, right next to the eyeball, there's a blank box, and when you click it, it locks the layer or it unlocks the layer. Um, if you lock this logo layer, you cannot select it. Well, that's the background, excuse me. If you cannot select this layer at all, you'll actually see this little pencil with a line through it when you go over the element. Um, the things you want to always have locked, you always, if you decide on a background, you always want to have your background locked. Because say you're moving things around, all of a sudden you, oops, there goes the background. That's something that you're not going to have to mess around with a lot because once that's in, it's there. It's The layout ain't changing on it unless you decide to change the background a little bit. So let's lock this background layer right here. And so if you see, if I hover over it, it's not selecting, okay? This is something different, so let me get rid of that. Uh, it's not selecting. If I unlock it, again, it selects. Now, one thing to know about layers is, do you, if you look at this box, you'll see a red outline on the box, and you're probably wondering what that is. What that is, is when you, uh, when you create a layer, you have to specify a layer on the layer options you need to specify a color for the elements uh, in, in that layer so say we change this to light uh, let's not change the light blue we'll change it to gold and we hit OK now you're gonna notice that red changed to gold around the outside and every element that is on background one will be gold in this case there's only one element so that's really you're only gonna see that one thing in gold when you come to your logo uh, for instance, and you select, you hit select all, where you start selecting pieces. If you see, there's a purple outline on the layer, which means every element in this layer will be outlined in purple when you click on it. Purple is just viewing on the screen. Uh, it's not going to print out purple. Don't worry about that. Um, so that's that. Let's let's do something. Let's select all real quick. Actually, let me unlock that background. We're gonna hit select all. If you notice, a couple things you're gonna notice. If you look at the logo, all those elements are a part of the logo layer. They are purple. Uh, if you look over to the right, all the elements are outlined in blue. And if you look over here by the type, that's the color specified to that layer. 
The whole point of it, the whole point of the colors and everything is just to show you what elements are a part of which layer. So say, uh, say you wanted, for instance, the food at its best, this headline, say you want it to be on the logo layer for some reason, okay? Say it's a tagline, a part of the logo, and that's why you want it on there. You're going to come over to your logo area, and you're going to click this little box right here over to the right, and you're going to drag it to whichever layer you want it on. Uh, I just said we wanted it on the logo layer, so you're going to put it right up there. Now, you notice how that changes from blue to purple? Now we hit select all. This is purple, the logo. Now food at its best is in purple. So what do you think is going to happen if I turn the layer logo off? Exactly. Food at its best is also going to disappear for the moment because it's on that layer, that logo layer. So uh, the only other thing I need to teach you uh, with layers is uh, say, and now let me open up, um, let me think, should I open up a new, actually I'll show you right here. Uh, say we take on this type layer, we take the word Montauk, and I'm going to zoom in so you really see this. You see how Montauk is, uh, it will the address 183 Montauk Highway. What you're going to want to do is say you didn't want that on top of Sal's Pizza, but they're both on the same layer. How do you get salspizza.biz to be on top of that? Uh, what you would do is you would select this layer, uh, this element right here, and you go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. And now if you notice, it went from the back to the front. Okay, I'm just undoing it and redoing it. Undoing it, redoing it. So that's really uh, that's really the only things you need to know about layers, um, shutting them off, locking them, uh, renaming them. Uh, within within uh, if you drop down a layer just like this, you're gonna see all these uh, little sub layers. Those are parts of that logo I showed you. So if you have less, uh, say like in this background layer, you're only gonna have a couple things in here. You really don't have to worry about what's in here. You're really just going to be putting the elements on the layers, and these are going to be created automatically for you. So uh, that's it on layers, guys. Comments, uh, questions, let me know. I'll be, uh, uh, I'm available to help. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Uh, visit our website, graphicdesignertips.com. Peace.